Alrighty guys, so today we're actually going to be doing a guide over how to get any S-Class multi-tool that you want. First things first, I'm going to show you glyphs, portals, I'm going to go ahead and get on into talking about galaxies and things like that. So first things first, this is the multi-tool we have chosen, this is the glyph we have chosen, this is where we have chose to get our glyph from. So if you're after Sentinel multi-tools, probably going to be easier to find them on the No Man's Sky Glyph Exchange Reddit. However, there's also a site version of this that has like a uh, tier selector. You can click search here. So first things first, you need to know what galaxy it's in. Uh, most of these on this site are starting off saying Euclid. So if you're in the Euclid galaxy, there are plenty, plenty, plenty of S-Class multi-tools you can be collecting here. Most multi-tools are the same. It really doesn't matter what mods you put on a multi-tool to make it better. However, today we are after this weird looking Thompson 20 looking gun thing here. It's located in the Eisentom galaxy. So that means we need to have a portal in the Eisentom galaxy. My current portal base does not have is not in the eyes and time galaxy at all so uh we're actually going to show you a easy way to get to the eyes and time galaxy at the beginning of this video in case this turns out to be the multi-tool you want which i mean it is a multi-tool of a sentinel class so you know anyway so uh we're gonna load into here though so as you can see here this is located in the eyes and time galaxy you're gonna need to be headed to the anomaly so once you get to the anomaly go to the back portal you know the sit here guys and then we need to go ahead and check out the featured bases so this first one is located in the euclid galaxy that is an easy warp to the euclid galaxy that is a base game galaxy so you know anyway uh this one doesn't actually mention what galaxy it's in i'm not sure uh, what Galaxy Helios 42 is in, but I do have a base there, so I mean, I have that forever now. Uh, but this is the Eisentom Galaxy. It is a featured base here, uh, and we're going to go ahead and load into here. This is going to take us directly to Eisentom, and then I'm going to show you how to get a portal. And we're also going to set up a portal base. I know it, guys. Finally, I'm going to show you a little bit about portals. Uh, if you're wondering how to get glyphs, you really just need to beat the main story of the game. That really is all there is to it. Uh, and it's the main, main story. I think it's like the Purge or something like that. It's the one where you have to, you keep getting pop-ups on your screen as you warp from galaxy to galaxy. All you have to do is just keep warping the galaxy to galaxy along and that will give you the glyphs. Uh, but that's pretty much all it is to glyphs. I'm not going to sit here and explain that. I might do a full video over it once I get to that. I am doing a second playthrough of this just so I can do a guide video over that. But it's pretty simple overall. I have already beat the story on here so there's no really way of me doing a guide because I already have glyphs. So yeah. Alrighty guys. So now that we are here, we are just going to need to make our way to space. Luckily this place seems to have a landing pad here so we're going to call our ship and get out of here. Uh, I will say though this base looks phenomenal. If you haven't checked out the community builds you really do need to. They are great inspiration for just some crazy build ideas. I mean look at this. This is what I'm talking about. This thing right here does look kind of like a TV. It's kind of like the data analysis sort of area. I, I don't know. This thing is ridiculously crazy. I love it. I think it looks great. You really can be really creative on this game. There is no ifs or buts about it. But what we are doing here today is getting into our spaceship, and we're going to be meeting back at the space station because that's where we need to go now. Because we have to find ourselves a portal. Let's go. And so is everybody else, because I'm sure they've all seen the clips that got posted. This was posted four hours ago. I'm sure everybody and their mothers here trying to find this thing. So. Uh, here's this guy's spaceship. Uh, he seems like he's a hunter. Anyway, so we're gonna go ahead and go get what we need here. We are after a new portal base today. We are gonna be making a new portal base today. I'd like to kit one out. I'd really like to get a portal, claim it as a base, and then make a really nice base themed around it. Maybe with like a better entrance to the portal. But for now, and by the way, Eisentom is actually a really good galaxy. Uh, it's known as just a galaxy full of good stuff always so what you're going to want to be purchasing here and you're going to need navigation data for this is the alien cartographic data here this is going to tell us where monoliths are monoliths upon answering the proper question to them which they can be tricky so go ahead and grab a bunch of these uh will actually tell you the location of the portal in this galaxy so let's go ahead and head to our starship after using one of these and hope we get some monoliths so we're going to go ahead and use a couple of these until we get a monolith so Alien Artifact, I don't think that's a monolith though, so we're gonna go boom, 
Alien Monolith detected. Okay, on the second one, let's go. So let's get to the monolith. Let's hope that we get this stupid question right. We might even do a Google search to make sure we get it right. I'm telling you, the monolith questions, guys, are really what's going to get you mad here. Because you're going to fail the first couple times. And if you don't, well, comment down below. Hey, yo, I got the monolith right on the first try, dude. Anyway, so let's get there. Let's go. Uh, we may have ran into the monolith just a slight bit, but don't worry. We are here, and I mean, look at that. Everyone's here. So uh, let's go ahead and start this. So something respect weapon. The body of a warrior emerges, blah, 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 blah. Bury the soldier's salvage components from more control. They still hold their more control. Bury the soldier. Don't remove my weapon is what I think you said. So we're gonna bury the soldier. Ancient voices howl their appreciation in the wind that whips around me. An offering emerges from the monolith. There we go. So the main thing about it is is the first few words, the red words are the words that you know, and they're also the key words. So what, from what I could tell the guy said was don't take my weapon. So if we salvaged the material from the multi tool, the monolith would have failed because we were desecrating him and taking his weapon when that was his last word. So you know, anyway, I speak alien now, I've played this game too long. So, anyway, what we're going to do now, and it's, wait, before we find the portal, once you do the monolith the first time, I think you have to interact with it again to find the portal later. Okay, so, we unlocked the monolith this time, but we need a Viking dagger. So, I forgot about this, uh, yeah, so, you're gonna need Viking daggers. If you go to your freighter and wait for Starship to land, most of the vendors there will be selling Viking daggers, so you can buy them there if you need a place to buy them. But here is Viking dagger, portal alien located. Now we get in our ship. I'll see y'all when we get to the portal. Let's go. So, uh, first of all, I'm guessing someone else has built their nasty base here. That sucks. I don't, I don't want to, someone to build their base here. Why is there so many communicators around this portal? Like everyone's like, yeah, this is all our portal. Uh, let's see here. It's gonna be like all oh, prior base claims with an existing base. So this is someone else's portal base. But I, at least it should be activated. No, it's not. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and activate our glyphs. We're gonna need some carbon, which we probably don't have. Uh, we will be back for the carbon, but I'll be back when this is halfway activated and we get some carbon and some sodium, apparently. Great. Already, and this should be it. The portal is now charged. Time to finally enter in the glyphs. Let's get it going. So, it does look like these glyphs also give the location of a save, uh, Beacon. I'm thinking the reason for the save beacon is just going to be for a way to save so that before you load the space station so you can reload in case it's not an S class. So uh, do keep that in mind. But we are also going to go ahead and get this entered. We're going to go to the bow. Now we have the dinosaur. And we have two of these weird looking things right here. One, two. We're going to go with weird looking thing uh other weird looking thing and then of course a the tt looking thing there we go portal open let's go through i almost wish i would have double checked those but that should be the right portal clips let's go let's go see if we find this multi-tool and this save beacon that's supposedly at negative 13 uh 46.9 so let's get here hey guys we are on the planet, and it does look like a cool planet. I like how it's a boiling monsoon tool. So, uh, it said, first of all, there's some targetry going on for radiant shards. Yeah, we don't need that. We need this. So, it said negative 13 plus 46. So, our ship's going to be back here. We are going to hop on our ship and get to the save beacon real quick. Uh, that is just the plan here. So, thankfully the ship will have cords on it. We do just need to travel a very large difference in this direction. So, we're going to hop up to space and warp for a second. That's usually my best bet for getting a far distance away from where you're at. So, we're going to go back down now. And hopefully we're not too far away. Yeah, we're going to shoot this up. Further up. Here we go. Hopefully, we're not still too far away here. 
I will be back when we get there, but once again, if you need to check your cords and your ship on the left side, those are your exact cords. Uh, we are getting very close to the first one, but the second one, we are about 80 off. So, I'll be back in a little bit. Alrighty guys, negative 13.55, 46.29, let us hear. So this is supposedly where it is going to be at, and as you can see, we do see it, however it is harmonically sealed. So if you haven't done one of these before, they all are pretty much the same. We are going to see if maybe we can do something with this guy though. Uh, and rusted metal is always ferrite, so I'll take ferrite. I don't mind ferrite. I do a lot of building, so it's okay. So let's see here. Feed lost circus. Take some land to Damien. I don't know why. I don't really know. I've fed <laughs> these things before and they don't ever do anything when you do this, but I, I, I guess it's okay. Maybe something will turn of it. And harmonic scrap gives viscous fluids 51 something. Okay. So besides all this, all you really need to do is head over to here to the harmonic interface. Go ahead and interact with it. Rejected input override glyphs or scan memory register will input the override glyphs. So uh, it's going to need... So first of all, I think it was telling us earlier. Scan memory registry. So here we go. So first glyph is 2 plus 6, 8. The second glyph is going to be 15 minus 6, so 9. So 8, 9, and what is 15? So 8, 9, 15. Let's remember that. We're going to go 8. We're going to go a 9. And we're going to go 15. Now, if this isn't right, and I somehow was confused, which it should be right... <laughs> Uh, deactivate multi-tool seal and locate dissonance spikes. We'll be using both of those, but for now, harmonic seal deactivated. Storage augmentation is for the starship as well. Very nice. Anyway, so here it is. If it is not an S class for you, well, it sucks, man. But I mean, look at it. It should be an S class. If it's not, however, you can upgrade it. There are a couple different ways to be doing this for a really fast upgrade. One. I have a 20,000 nanites farm and minutes farm, uh, which you can just do over and over and over and get to like two, three hundred thousand nanites or something crazy and upgrade this thing out of the wazoo. Or you can use that farm for the multi tool parts and also get the S class. But this should be an S class for you too. We will be collecting this and just have some damage stuff on it, but we'll be removing that, I do believe. Uh, we will be installing our own stuff. I will be showing you how to upgrade this thing, how I'm going to get the mods for it. We are going to be using the Criminal Galaxy for this, so it's going to be criminal mods, but that is okay. I'll see y'all in just a bit. One of the perks of this galaxy, actually, is that the station is actually an outlaw galaxy. So this is the perfect uh, station to actually go to. So, yeah. So, now that we're actually at the criminal station, uh, we're going to go ahead and head on to the contraband agent first. Uh, the reason why we do this is to just be purchasing some things. First of all, if you need some nip nip, uh, go ahead and purchase it. I always purchase any extra nip nip uh, because you can never have too much nip nip, right? Anyway, so uh, go ahead and select all the suspicious packet arms and tech. Both of these have a chance of giving you mods for your weapons and stuff. Uh, you can just reload the space station when you need more of them, which we will be using a bunch of these. So uh, we're actually just going to go ahead and collect these. We're also going to go ahead and check over here. This is the other spot to go to. This will be where you can get some mods at right here. This guy's inventory is limited, but for uh, purchase old scrap. So let's see here. Uh, this guy, oh, he sells for tainted metal, that's right, so I don't think he actually is the vendor we need to find. <clears throat> Alrighty, so this guy right here is actually going to be the guy we need to talk to. Uh, though, is he selling aftermarket updates? Okay, good. So, this is the guy we need to be talking to. He has suspicious bolt caster upgrade, we'll take it. Uh, plasma, oh, and we're going to switch, hopefully, yeah. And we're going to buy as many of those as we can, and then, I think that's supposedly the right one, this one, here we go. So, launch thrusters, for starship launch thrusters, I was almost, I had almost grabbed those though. Anything else here we might want? 
y'all with the cannons. Yeah, we can upgrade that. We'll do this one. And I'm gonna go ahead and pick up some other things here. Ooh, we need to get some nanites farm going on actually soon. So, uh, I will be back once I am done getting my nanites farmed up using my 20,000 nanites and minutes method, as well as getting what we did select here, what we want installed, installed. But I will be back. This is how you're going to be getting your tools. You can just, uh, if it's for repairing some of this stuff, you can use repair kits and just buy the repair kits. And that's what I'm going to be doing uh, just to get it out of my way. But I do believe I'll be back in a bit. Go ahead and... Alrighty guys, so let's go ahead and test this thing out. Uh, there should always be a sentinel here. We're just going to go ahead and shoot the neutron cannon here. And as you can see here, uh, almost three shots. And then we're, of course, going to get them aggravated at us, and then we're going to take them off to another area so they don't blow this place up. Uh, but we do want to collect that. But there we go. So we're going to go ahead and head on to my combat tower. I so I, I had built a quick teleport out of it, but I guess I didn't get to that yet. I'm going to build a teleporter so it'll teleport me into a cave for when I'm done farming for these guys. Uh, but I just have a very simple tower here to fight these guys off with. And we already seen the neutron cannon there, and as you can see, we have a decent amount of ammo for it too. Uh, but what we're going to be testing out is the scatter blaster, which is a weird one to be using on this Tommy Tone type of looking thing. Uh, but, oh, there we go. It does hit. We just need to get a little bit closer. So, all of my shotguns are like this. And look at that. That's very good. Uh, all of my shotgun builds for multi tools are like this. Uh, this is a shotgun multi tool build right here for the shotgun. The shotgun one we did great on. So as you can see here, boom, boom, they did. Uh, it, it's oh, it's not a bad guy. Uh, it's super easy. You just gotta be able to you know hit them. But once you hit them, this gun is too great. But this is how you build it. This is how you get it. This is the gun. This is a free Sentinel S class multi tool, guys. Pretty cool, if you ask me. Uh, this is my current build. I'm probably going to be upgrading it. We'll see what we're doing with it eventually. But as you can see here, it does great. We're also going to go ahead and switch back to this so we can find some other things. The Sentinels are searching. Here they are. So we're going to charge it and we're going to direct hit them. Okay, so it's doing something, but th this is not fun. Uh, hijacked laser, also not fun. We'll switch to this and boom. Easy. Yeah, definitely like how we did the scatter blaster. This is great for scatter blaster gun. Alrighty, guys, I am out though. I will go ahead and just let this play as a combat sort of thing for a bit while I defeat the last of these here. I'm just showing you how good of a shotgun this has turned into be. But hold, tell me what y'all do with yours, uh, but I'm out. Please keep it